Hello, hello. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Monday. Surprise. I am back with y'all on Monday. I am Dr. Joy Fremont. That's J-O-I, Dr. Joy Fremont. Coming to you live from the kitchen today, y'all. Coming to you live. I am also known as Miss Dr. Lady. So, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. If you are coming to me live, please say hey to me down below. I love to speak to everybody live. If you are coming to me for replay, just hit replay later. Later, later is greater. It's all good. Either way it goes, I want to see your comments. But today, I'm going to talk about preparing you for St. Patrick's Day. The title of the video is Kiss Me, I'm Iris, but not if you have gingivitis. Now, I got some surprises for you today. Hello, Gary Pearson. So, kissing. I mean, who doesn't love to kiss, right? Everybody likes to get a little kiss every now and then, but you better be careful who you put your lips on or who puts their lips on you, right? Because... Once you, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to you real because you know how I am. I've been doing this for a long time. And I love to tell you and speak to you how I speak to my patients, okay? So according to the American Dental Association, hmm, kissing can be contagious if the person you're kissing has some stuff going on. Okay, so I mean, we're not talking about we know about the herpes. I hope you know about the herpes, the mono stuff like that. But let's talk about gingivitis or periodontitis, which is a step above gingivitis. Okay, so what happens is there are bad bacteria and good bacteria in your mouth, right? Yes, there is such a thing as good bacteria. But what happens is if you have bad bacteria in your mouth, just think about it. It's in your mouth, which means it's in your saliva or your spits, right? So if you have a cute little kiss, like, Mwah, maybe not so much. But if you got some tongue action going on, you're going to send that from here to here. Or from that person on to you, right? So be very, very, very careful who you kiss. So I'm going to be very transparent with you, okay? So before I got married, when I was dating my now husband, you know, you got to check that person out. Make sure that person is legit. So while you're checking out their background, also check out their dental history. If that person has bad oral hygiene, ma'am, sir, be very careful. If that person's breath is always not smelling right, something's going on. So be very careful who you kiss because that person can give what they have to you. I'm just keeping it real, right? Is everybody understanding what I'm saying? So be very careful. But along with today's presentation about Kiss Me I'm Irish, but be very careful who you kiss, I'm going to make a drink for you to prepare you for Wednesday, right? Which is St. Patrick's Day. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, my daddy said that we were part Irish. I, I don't believe that I'm part Irish, but I believe everything my daddy said to me, so I have the right to teach you an Irish drink, okay? Now, before I do this, I got some flack last time. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what's happening, all right? You can drink in moderation. Now, for men, moderation means two alcoholic beverages a day. For women, it's one. Now, I'm not saying Dr. Freeman said go out and drink. I'm not saying you have. To, I'm not saying all that. I'm just telling you what the American Heart Association says, and we're gonna follow that, right? So, I'm gonna make you a drink right quick. I'm gonna tell you what to get, give you your ingredients, and you can follow along with me. So, Miss Dr. Lady, we're gonna mix it up, Miss Dr. Lady, right? So, in honor of St. Patrick's Day, the name of the drink is. Kiss me, I'm Irish. That's up to you if you want to add a little part about, but not if you have bad breath. Your call, okay? So, this is going to be a twist on a margarita. Now, every drink that I'm going to make for you from now on is going to be low carb because we all know, or if you did not know, carbohydrates breaks down to acid, which causes cavities, right? It also dries your mouth out, all that kind of stuff, right? It's gonna cause gingivitis, it's gonna cause decay. I am not gonna be the one 
that's going to be the cause of your decay, okay? So, a few things we're going to have in this delicious drink. Of course, your silver tequila. And yes, tequila is no carbs. This is mine. As you can probably see, I've been hitting it, right? Now, we're going to also use some club soda. I don't care which brand you use, but today I'm using Canada Dry. Now, instead of the things like the fruit juices and the, and the things that cause the decay, which are fruit juices, yes, people say, Dr. Fremont, I don't eat candy, I don't chew gum, but I have all these cavities. Well, you know, fruit juice does have a lot of carbohydrates in them. So don't think that only sugar can cause you to have cavities. That's a lesson I just taught you, okay? So if you have a very, um, if you drink a lot of sodas, lots of fruit juices, they're very high in sugar, so be very careful with that. So I want you to get used to drinking maybe some water enhancers. Sometimes people do not like drinking straight water. I can drink straight water all the time with no flavors, but sometimes it's kind of hard for others to get it down. So I'm going to incorporate some water enhancers to replace my fruit juices in this cocktail. All right, so today, and I love the brand, Mio, or you could say Mayo, I don't care, but they're three that I'm using, okay? This is the Green Thunder. This is the Berry Blast. And these are in any grocery store. Now, Mio does not have the pineapple coconut, so I got the brand Stir. Either one is fine, baby girl, baby boy. We're going to get it in, all right? So here we go. So, because I am a dentist and a scientist, I measure everything, but we're going to see, all right? Hey, Cindy! So, the first thing you're going to do, and I will post this recipe later for you to get it. I have it cute for you, so you can just follow along. Now, it calls, this, this drink makes two servings, so you can share it, or not. <laughs> So, what we're going to do is we're going to have our cute glass that has a measuring cup on it. Do you see that? How handy. This is also my shaker, okay? It calls us for four ounces of tequila. Woo, woo, woo. I'm going to show you what I'm doing in a minute. I'm pouring four ounces of tequila. Girl, you already know. You already know what's getting ready to go down with that. Now. As far as the water enhancer, it costs for like a half a, a teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon. I don't have time for that, so I just squirt mine to the glory of the Lord. So, one full squirt of this is one teaspoon, okay? So, for the coconut pineapple, it causes for a quarter of a teaspoon. So, guess what I'm going to do? Yep, the squirt. Green Thunder is a half teaspoon. Squirt. Did I get it in there? I'm gonna do it again. Ooh, look at that green, I'm trying to tell you. And for the berry blast, this is adding our flavor to our margarita. Ooh, look at that pretty green. Now, normally I have the ice in there first because I like my shaker to be cold, but because I want to show you and use the measuring tool on here, I didn't. So I'm gonna pour some ice into here, All right? Boom, 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 boom. Now, also, if you have, if you don't have a shaker that has these measuring things on it, you can use this, right? How much is this, guys? An ounce on this side. Did y'all know these things made sense? The small part is an ounce. I'm teaching y'all all kind of stuff, right? And then you're going to shake it. Now, I'm not a bartender, so I'm not a good shaker, but they say if you shake it over your shoulder, you make it happen. You don't have to shake it a lot, but I'm going to because I, I feel like dancing. I feel like dancing, 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 okay? Look at that. Now, I'm not at home. I'm borrowing someone's shaker, and their top doesn't come off. <laughs> but that's all right. Now, I have my cute little St. Patrick's Day glasses. And you're going to pour half of this in one and half in the other. I'm going to give myself more because I'm here by myself. And there you go. 
This is the Kiss Me I'm Irish Margarita. Just for you. It has no, like, zero carbs. Like, nada. Nada. So all, for all y'all keto people, get with it. However, I already told you there is no healthy alcoholic drink. There's no healthy beer. There's no healthy cocktail. There's no healthy wine. But I'm keeping it real. I tell you guys to brush and floss three times a day, and y'all don't do that. I tell you to, to wear your night guard. You halfway to do that. I love you all, but I know my patience. So drink in moderation, okay? So here we go. So good. So I'm going to post this a little bit later for you to get your ingredients. If it's found in any grocery store. I'm not quite sure if the tequila is in the grocery store, but you have to get the Silver Patron. Um, Fremont says, you're awesome. I love it. Need a tester. Y'all, should I let my mom taste this? I'm going to wait for the audience to say. My mother just commented that she wants to be a tester. Should I let her test? I don't know, mommy. I have another glass. It's waiting for you. No one is answering yet. I think they're a little bit salty. So I have two of these. I can bring one over. I'm just waiting. <laughs> they're hating on you. They're saying no. They're not saying anything because they want this. But you know, good and well, this is not going to be in Hateville because you are not going to call people on me. All right. Nonetheless, this is a great drink for you to get ready for. Um... <laughs> Irma's, Irma's saying yes to herself. Cindy says as long as she can be a tester too and give one to your mama. Mama, you won because I trust Cindy. She knows I trust her. So I'm going to give one to her. I'm going to post the recipe out to you. If you want me to send it directly to you, send me a DM or you can put it in the inbox on Facebook, DM on uh, Instagram, and I will shoot you the recipe. This is delicious. Four ounces of tequila, baby. You already know it's Monday. So if you don't have these ingredients at home, go to the grocery store and get them. Or go ahead and get them for Wednesday. And you can have your no-carb, no-carb drink. So you cannot have cavities on St. Patrick's Day, okay? So I'm Dr. Joy Fremont coming to you live about your gingivitis about not kissing anybody who is nasty, and about not causing cavities with your drinks, okay? So if you want more drink recipes, let me know. This is super fun. I'm having a great time doing it. I uh, also want you to understand drink responsibly. Drink responsibly. Drink in moderation. Remember, one for women, two for men per day. So I guess I have to give mine to my mom because this is two and I can't do it. So mommy... I'm on the way. All right, so I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day. I'm Dr. Joy Fremont, Miss Dr. Lady, 404-761-1659. That's 404-761-1659. No, I would not have drinks at the office at Hateville. You can make it yourself. And I will see you on Wednesday for St. Patrick's Day. Have a good one, guys. Bye.